Inwar is another attempt to bring real-time strategy games to the console video game machines. Its innovative voice commands work very well, but its strategy is very shallow with only rock, paper, scissors gameplay and a uh, lack of depth is really needed to take the next step and make the game a lot more interesting. The game takes place uh, through World War III, uh, Europe, Russia, and USA fighting, and turn-based modes here, as you can see. You zoom in, and then you take place in battles to determine the outcome of the war. A lot of places, for instance, Washington, D.C., Paris, famous places around the world you'll be fighting in. The big innovation that Inwar provides is voice commands. Here I'm telling these choppers to move far across the battlefield and have this specific hostile unit. Uh, it uses other uh, commands such as moving to a specific point on the map, telling active groups to move, telling groups to take cover. It all works really well and it's very easy. It's also very easy to move between cameras and positions of different units to see what's going on in different, very different parts of the battlefield. So you keep track of everything. Unit two. It's also important to tell Unit infantry two. to take cover, which the voice commands can do. And you can also tell them to garrison inside of buildings. Uh, they can be really useful. You just have to make sure they don't get sliced and die by the choppers and tanks on the battlefield. Four. And the units have different weaknesses. The transports can take out helicopters really well. You can zoom in to get a better view of the action. It doesn't really affect gameplay, but it looks cool. Artillery for long range attacks, and you can use the choppers to see uh, further allow them to attack. And here, choppers versus choppers, and a variety of other strengths and weaknesses you'll see in the game. If it's too hard to keep track of everything, you can move into a traditional 2D view in the command center and tell your units to move across the battlefield, see what the enemy's doing easier. You'll end up having a lot of different units in some of these fights, so it's important to be able to make an active group as I'm doing here, then have a group of units move at the same time as one. One of the types of missions is to destroy a number of buildings within a set time frame. So I'm destroying this to keep moving on. Another one of the modes is to capture a majority of the uplinks on the battlefield, and then you'll have to start a victory countdown. You can also upgrade these uh, uplinks to give you abilities such as artillery strikes in the fight. And if you start uh, losing, then you get the ability to launch a nuke, as I did here. I don't know why you'd launch a nuke in DC, but that's what they're doing. And if your your infantry and units are able to survive all these battles, then they can get upgrades to get better. But the upgrades are just basic direct damage, nothing really truly strategic. In the end, End Wars, uh, voice commands provide the greatest amount of innovation in the game. Its real-time strategy uh, just doesn't work that well. It's just rock paper scissors, direct damage with just unit weaknesses. There's no real strategy involved. Hopefully, someone else will be able to take the voice commands and make a good real-time strategy games for the consoles in the future.